what are the really good things? What sets cloud apart? What, what are the features that makes us want to get onto cloud and, and makes Atlassian cloud Atlassian push the, uh, the cloud instances. Um, but what are the, some of the things that I need to focus on or consider if uh, as an organization, we're thinking, yes, we're, we're, we're looking towards cloud. Obviously, the big one is pricing and licensing. So how does cloud differ? There is a, a slightly different model. Uh, on server in DC, there's, you know, there's the, the server, it's um, a, a one-time license fee that you can then pay for maintenance. Cloud, there's a subscription. Uh, so with DC, there's a subscription. With um, cloud, there's a monthly or an annual subscription that is based on a per user license. Keeping in mind that there are extended trial licenses available. If you are currently on a self-hosted you know, server or DC, you have the ability to, have, you have access to a trial license. So you can try out cloud to see if that works for you in your organization. Now cloud comes with a few pricing plans. So there is a free tier for up to 10 users or three agents for Jira Service Desk. Um, and that's for free. So for, for both Jira and Confluence, there are a few limitations in features for free versus standard, uh, but this is, this is a good starting place. It offers you the ability to under 10 users, you can get on there and try it out, see if it's an application that works for you. Then there's standard at $7 for Jira or $5 for Confluence per user per month, keeping in mind that that, that reduces per user at scale. Um, and again, for standard and premium, you have a limit of 5,000 users. And then premium is a little bit more expensive per user per month, but that offers you unlimited file storage, some premium support, 99.9% .9 uptime SLAs. When we're having a look at whether, you know, standard or premium additions or, or plans are right for your organization, some of those things that you need to consider is size limits. So at the moment, there is a size limit of 250 gig for Jira and Confluence separately. So and, and now this is all additions of Jira share the 250 gigabit, gigabyte store, storage limit. So what that means, if you have a Jira software and Jira service desk on the same cloud, that's a that's a shared 250 gig for both of those applications. Whereas a premium edition offers um, unlimited storage. Keeping in mind that all cloud products, they're built on AWS, they're running on AWS servers and they're built with stability and performance in mind. When it comes to um, exploring, you know, extending your Atlassian application uh, on the cloud, Applications vary or the availability varies from server to cloud. So it's a good practice to check the Atlassian marketplace. If you're thinking about say migrating from a server or, or on-prem instance to a cloud instance, one of the first things that we recommend is go to the Atlassian marketplace, have a look at what add-ons you currently have on your on-prem instance, and then check whether they're available for cloud and whether those applications on cloud have a, have a different, or those add-ons have a different set of features or a cut down set of features versus the application or the add-on that you're using at the moment. Uh, and this is simply because Jira Cloud offers a slightly different feature set. So for example, you know, Jira Cloud includes a number of workflow validators and conditions, as well as advanced integrations with Bitbucket, Cloud and GitHub. And again, premium editions also include new features that provide enhanced functionality. So some of the things that you are currently using for with as add-ons to enhance your application on-prem, you may not need. But if you are migrating and you do find that, or you do want to migrate and you do find that your add-on is not available on cloud yet, it's a good, it's good advice to just reach out to the developer for the application and see what are their plans. They may be, you know, releasing an add-on for cloud in the, in the near future. If security is a big uh, thing for your organization, or if you're thinking about compliance versus, you know, data restrictions, all of those things, a great place to start is having a look at the Atlassian Trust Center that talks you through you know, security, reliability, the compliance that they've, that they've gained, you know, the audits, those types of things. And it also gives you a, a roadmap 
in terms of what are the features that are coming up. So some of the information that we've provided here is available on that uh, site there. Now, all of our clients that we talk to, or not all of them, but most of them have data locality and residency as a big important factor for them. So Atlassian hosts its cloud products in six different AWS regions across US, Europe, and Asia Pacific. So Atlassian will optimize where your data is located based on how it's accessed around the world. So if most of your users are based in Australia, it will try and locate the data where your data is stored to uh, an AWS region that is close to there. Having said that, add-on data location is up to the add-on developer. So if the data locality and residency is a factor for you, it's, it's good to reach out whether to us or to Atlassian to see what can be done if you're using add-ons, where that data is stored and how we can ensure that it's compliant for your organization. If you are thinking about trying out or migrating to cloud, one of the great things is an extended tr cloud trial license to all server and data center customers. So you, if you have a server or data center instance at the moment, you have the ability for a free cloud subscription matching your user T up to 5,000 um, and lasts for the remaining maintenance duration or a minimum of 60 days. And this does not extend to apps but this is a really good way for you to test out, is this gonna work for our organization? Can we customize it? What are the features that we can use? And will it meet the requirements of the organization? And one of the very exciting things that is coming out is the announcement of um, an Atlassian Cloud Enterprise Plan. So this is basically Premium Plus. It allows you the ability for unlimited users scaled horizontally. So if you have multiple instances, you can have up to 5,000 but that's uh, per instance, but that's unlimited across all of those. Centralized user billing, you have, um, it will come with release tracks. So you'll be able to turn features on or off and, and, and stop things until you have the ability to uh, communicate that to your organization. It will come with sandbox. It will come with the ability for you to select where your data is being stored. Um, and again, 99.95% uptime SLA, dedicated support and will come with Atlassian access. And I believe there's an, uh, uh, um, a trial happening at the moment. So it might, it might be worth either contacting us or reaching out to Atlassian to see if this is something that interests you and may be right for your organization.